and welcome. We are here in Vihtavuori in Finland at the test shooting center here at the powder factory. My name is Mary and I work as an R&D engineer here. And I'm Taneli, R&D manager. Yes, and you can see here behind us we have some test barrels that we use in our testing for the R&D and also for the production. What we wanted to talk about today is uh, when we test with these kind of barrels, uh, how the temperature is affecting what we do. Uh, there are some fundamental principles that have to be taken into account. And one of those principles is that uh, when you change temperature, mm. the powder is affected by the change. Uh, and one of those uh, basic things that happens is that when you decrease the temperature, uh, the pressure and velocity go down. And once you increase the temperature, you have an increase in pressure and, and velocity. That's the basic performance of uh, all smokeless powders, how they are affected. So just to keep in mind, when you are doing your loads and testing them in ambient temperature, if you are going to shoot them either in very low or cold temperatures or very hot environment, then you have to take into account that the velocity and pressures inside the gun and cartridges might be very different. Yes. How you will see these fundamental differences in practice is that when you're developing a new load uh, at a certain temperature, let's say that you're developing it an, uh, at an ambient temperature, then you go and uh, shoot in a desert, for example, in very hot conditions, then you will, of course, have a different behavior from your uh, cartridge. And, and the basic the measurements, if you're measuring velocities and pressures, the result will be different. So uh, there are that's the basic thing. But then there are a number of other things that you have to take into account. Uh, do you want to fill in there? Yes, so especially primer, if you have different, uh, different manufacturer primer or just a different lot of the same power primer or cartridges or different manufacturer from the cartridge case, it can change the velocities and pressures to a different that, that we have in our reloading guide. When we want to define the temperature stability or insensitivity of the powders, uh, there are um, some things that, that we have to define basically. Uh, the linearity or the linear behavior of the powder when you change the temperature, how much the pressure and velocity change, that's one thing. And in that sense, for example, the Vihtavori powders are very predictable. They behave in a linear way uh, when temperature changes. Uh, then another thing uh, that uh, many people are interested in is that how much actually the pressure and velocity change when you're changing the temperature. I know, Mary, that you have actually uh, done some summaries and studies on that, so, mm -hmm. so you probably have more accurate numbers <laughs> than I have at the yes. moment. <laughs> yes, so as a rule of thumb for our 100 series powder, for example, if you change the temperature, say 10 Celsius to either increase or decrease, then the velocity will change, the bullet velocity will change around 10 meters per second. And of course the pressure will increase or decrease around 4%. That's the numbers for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> that helps. Yes. So now we have our powders, 100 series and 500 series, and the differences in their temperature stabilities. What are they? Uh, the basic difference is that you have nitroglycerin in the 500 series powders, so the powder chemistry is different. And that yeah. means that the fundamental behavior is, is also different with, uh, between these two powders. And in a very small nutshell, I would put that, that the 500 series are more temperature stable than the 100 series powders. The 100 series is also linear in their temperature behavior, so mm -hmm. you can safely and easily use them. But if you're looking for the utmost temperature stability, then the 500 series would be your choice. So if you know you are going to the very cold environment or very hot, then maybe choose 500 series. Yeah, if the temperature uh, stability matters to you in those conditions, then and you're looking for the best stability, then yes. Okay. 
the testing for the temperature stability, uh, one reason why we chose this place today, uh, where we have a lot of our or some of our uh, test barrels for different calibers, we actually have many more than uh, what we can show you here. But uh, what's interesting for our testing is that uh, we have a very wide vari variety of uh, different calibers and different kind of barrels, and we can test the actual temperature behavior uh, in each uh, barrel uh, or each caliber and uh, uh, see what kind of uh, results you're actually getting with the set of components that we have chosen. But just be careful that when you change the components, the behavior might be different. But we are testing at very extreme conditions. Uh, you, you probably know the specs quite well what, where we are testing, so do you want to? Yes, we are using the NATO specs. So we are testing from minus 54 to all the way up to plus 52 and sometimes even higher, plus 72 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's Celsius. Very, yes. very extreme conditions, but, uh, but then you can of course see quite easily that uh, how the behavior is actually, um, how the powder behavior actually is when you're taking it to extreme yeah. conditions. Yes, and it's safe to use. Yes.